I'm going to show you how to use DHCP filters to allow or block devices from getting DHCP addresses from a Windows DHCP server. So to start, I'm logged onto my DHCP server and within Surf Manager, I'm going to go to Tools and then DHCP. Within the DHCP Management Console, I'm going to expand my DHCP server, expand IP version 4 and then come down to Filters. Within here, we've got two lists. We've got an Allow list and we've got a deny list. Now by default, both of these lists are disabled. Now before you can actually use them, you have to right click them and then set them to enabled. Now before we do that, it's important to know how these work. Now the allow list will only give DHCP addresses to devices with a MAC address in this list. So if you right click and enable the allow list, unless there is a MAC address in here, this DHCP server won't respond to any DHCP requests. And then the way the deny list works is if we enable this, what it will do is it will respond to all the HCP requests unless there is a MAC address in this list. And if it matches, it won't provide any DHCP services to any matching MAC addresses. Now to add a device to any of these lists, you can either right click the list and then select new filter. And then we can add the MAC address in here. So in this case, if we just add a MAC address, And then we'll give it a description. So for this one, let's call it John's laptop and then press add. Now, any device that has this MAC address that requests a DHCP address, because this is in the deny list, it will not be provided with an IP address. Now, another way we can do it is come to the scope and then the address leases. And then anything that's got a lease, we can select it and then right click add to filter. And then we can add it to our deny list. So now I've got two devices in our deny list. And then just to show this working, I'll come over to that server that we've just put in the deny list. And I will open up a command prompt. And we can see we've still got an IP address. However, if I do an IP config slash release, and then if I do an IP config slash renew, it will never actually get an IP address now because it is in that block list. So it will just hang on this when it is trying to get an IP address. So if I just go back to my DHCP server, and then if I remove it from the block list, and then come back, if I then refresh the renew, we can see that it tries again to get a DHCP address, and in a few seconds, it then gets an IP address, because it's no longer on the block list, and the DHCP server can respond to it. Now we don't just have to use the management console to do this, we can use PowerShell. So if I open up a PowerShell window, and then in here, the first thing we want to do is check which filter lists we have enabled. So if I do get DHCP server v4 filter list, this will give us both the allow list and the deny list, and it will tell us which ones are active. If we want to change any of these, we can do set DHCP server v4 filter list and then if we do computer name and then the fully qualified domain name of our DHCP server and then we can do dash allow and then if we want to set that to false so it is disabled and then we can do dash deny and then we can set that to true because we want it to be enabled or whatever state you want it to set so we can do that and then now that's set so if we want to get DHCP server filter list we can see that they're the same, but that's how you set the filter list to either on or off. So if we want to see what devices are currently in our DHCP filter list, we can do get dash DHCP server v4 filter, and then we can do dash computer name, and then the fully qualified domain name of our DHCP server. And then this will give us all of the allow and deny list, and it will give us the MAC address if they're allowed or denied, and then the description that is set. So if we want to add a device to a, either of these lists, we can do add dash DHCP server v4 filter, and then computer name. Now again, this is the computer name of the DHCP server. And then what we can do is we can do dash list, and then this is the list we want to add it to. So I want to add it to the deny list. And then we can do dash MAC address and then enter the MAC address of the device we want to block or allow. And then if we want, we can give it a description. 
So we can do test device. And then after we've run that command, we can do get DHCP server v4 filter. And now we can see that our device has been added to the deny list with the description that we've used. If we want to then remove one of those devices, we can do remove dash DHCP server v4 filter. And then we can do dash computer name and then the DHCP server we want to remove it from. And then dash MAC address. And then the MAC address of the device we want to remove from the filter list. And then if we run that, and then again get DHCP server v4 filter, we can see that that MAC address that we've run the command against has now been removed and is no longer in either of the lists. So that's how you can use the DHCP management console as well as PowerShell to manage the DHCP filter list to either allow or block devices from getting DHCP addresses on a Windows server.